Hello there. Yeah. This is a uh, update on the um, Kawasaki diesel uh, mule. I haven't had a few videos up for several days or thereabouts. I've had to uh, do a lot of book work and studying and research to make sure that the replacement parts uh, would indeed um, work on this application. Um, I've had to uh, change the bearings. I had to buy them. I didn't have them. I have every, all, a lot of parts, but everything but. That's the way things go, I guess. Okay. On to other things with the update. First thing first is that I took the pistons out of it. Um, the block looked very good. I was rather impressed. Um, I pulled the pistons out of it. They're all damaged. They're all damaged. This one here especially. I've got a bent rod. That was one of the remaining factors as to what happened with this engine. With a bent rod, it drops compression on that cylinder. Also to, it could cause it to run hot, concentrated on the head, the valves area. Um, I had to do a little research to see if that was supposed to be that way or not. I wasn't sure. Now, the piston assemblies that I got off of eBay, several parts off of eBay, including the pistons, there was nothing shaped like this. This is due to a mechanical failure, which self-inflicted, I must add. I know what happened here. Um, we'll go into that later. Um, also, I have at least one of the other pistons that came out of it. I would be more than happy to share that as well. I have to go grab it. I'll be right back. Okay, here's one of the other pistons that came out of it. Uh, this one here is one of the better ones at that. Um, this one here, I hold it up here and show it to you. If you look, <clears throat> excuse me, if you look, it's burned right in this area here, right around the wrist pin, and back up in the rings again. Okay? Again, it wasn't burning exactly the way it should have been burning. Um, which indicates a timing problem. Also on the other side, right here as well, all up in the, down the piston, on an angle here, around the wrist pin, and back up in the rings. And that was pretty much raw fuel being burned between the cylinder wall getting past the rings and burning down alongside of the piston that's what that kind of tells me um, I've seen pistons come out of other engines that I have worked on I've seen them burned and charred but in a matter of this I think that's rather heavy extensive okay what we're going to do we're going to head down the basement this project, this job, um, it's going rather well. Uh, it seems like I've got all the bugs and ticks taken care of. Uh, I think I'm well underway now. I hope to run this engine like say the end of the month or thereabout. And, but it does depend on a few more things that I have to achieve. 
Uh, it's just one of them things. It's a hobby. This is not exactly what we call a step-by-step how-to video. This is just an update as to how the uh, uh, project is going, generally speaking. My damn telephone is going to have to ring. I'll call it back later. Okay, so we're taking a trip. Five minutes. What's YouTube limit? Seven minutes? Ten minutes? Well, we'll have to see. Let's take head down the basement. And hopefully we do good here. I hope I've got ten minutes. It took a little bit longer up there than I wanted. Okay. Now, first things first, being a light happens to be over here. I've sunk two pistons. I've put two pistons in place. And I'm ready to do a third right after I make the video and play it back. And uh, I want to get this on this evening up on YouTube. If you can see it or not, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Uh, there is cylinder number two and cylinder number th number three. Uh, I've had to take and clean this up, uh, pulled, the, pulled the cylinders out of it. I had to take and use 320, 400 grit sandpaper uh, to uh, kind of crosshatch it a little bit, wet paper, and uh, just to brush it up a little bit. And right in here at the top of the ring travel, uh, there is no wear, there's, there's no lip or nothing like that. I mean, it's smooth smooth it's gonna be a nice little project nice it's gonna it's gonna turn out real good I'm impressed um, yeah so now with a job like this the biggest thing to a job like this whether it be big or small or otherwise is grit it's uh, something you have to fight it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of gas on hand for washing parts and things like that. I just want to make sure I emphasize grit is a unforgiving factor in anything like this. Mainly I use about two or three rags. Uh, for the engine I use um, lint free rags. And as far as my hands almost anything, because I'm always washing my hands anyhow. You just got to keep up with it. And... Uh, there's a job we're doing very well with it and it's coming along I have to take and uh, drop one more cylinder in it so I can hoist it up and wash it and uh, continue step by step and uh, it's doing very well it's doing very well I just wanted to update and uh, let you know how things are going here I have a bolt down in the um, uh, camshaft I dropped the other night a nut for a wrist pin nut or cap nut I hope I can retrieve that I, I can't see pulling this thing apart to get that out of there but I'm going to take a magnet and see if I can fish it out of there the so best of hopes on that and we'll keep you posted on that okay well I want to get this posted and uh, we'll see you again Please be sure to visit my other videos and be, be sure to uh, type in comments or what have you, whatever you wish. Thanks. Bye.